Bushman. This Bushman community live across the continent of Africa. Their nomadic nature is reason why they are called as Bushman. They won't settle at one place nor build a permanent house. They set up a makeshift shelter wherever they find abundance of animals in savanna. Since they mostly stay in bushes or caves is another reason to call them Bushman. Today we will learn about the life of the indigenous tribe called Hadzabe that lives by Lake Eyasi in Tanzania, Africa. For the first time in India, we will explore the wilderness with them for 72 hours to hunt wild animals along with the hunters in the jungle. This journey was very challenging for me. Altogether, I have walked over 100 kilometers in this savanna. Based on the 2010 census, it is said almost 1200 Hadzabe people are living here. Come, join me in this journey. Hello guys, good morning. The time now is 4:15 a.m. We have to leave the place at 4:45 a.m. and go to the place where the tribes are living. I'm carrying a weightless bag with the important things as today's journey is going to be extremely thrilling for sure. So, come let's go. We didn't inform them about our arrival today. We are going in without informing them earlier. Hey. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> He's really friendly. He's asking me to sit. Okay, okay. Oh, he's asking me to sit. The Hadzabe tribesmen wake up very early in the day. On waking up, they split into two groups, one comprising men and other women. They huddle around a fire to warm themselves in the freezing cold to discuss and decide on the activity for the day for the men and the women. There are many around though. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at his shoulder. He is wearing the skin of a baboon he hunted. <laughs> What I am having in my hand is marijuana, one of their favorite straps. It is very norm for a visitor here to present them with this. <laughs> They are very much excited. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm standing inside a babo tree. They have hollowed out the tree and to sleep at nights. Even if they don't speak my language, look at how they try to demonstrate to me. This is their sleeping place. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you can see they called me in and showed me how they sleep. They are demonstrating it. Actually this is a tree one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest tree in Africa you may have seen this in uh, some movies we should be able to see it clearer once uh, they get brighter this is what they call home 
they hollowed it out and uh, made it home they are getting ready for the hunt it's going to be a bit hard to follow them but i have no other choice <sighs> wild dogs are accompanying them for the hunt when it comes to hunting the dog plays a crucial role for the strapsman they calling the dogs a total of four men 13 dogs are going to join me for the hunt keeping up with their pace is uh, very very tough for me because i have never walked this far let alone running adding to this the first thing they made me do when i came is to run i tried to match them for a while then i told them i cannot run can we walk instead for me even to walk with them was like running since i had no other choice i pushed myself hard and followed them as much as i possibly could <laughs> once we enter the jungle there have no restrictions on which animal they would hunt this is babu tree this babu tree can be only found in africa we are walking by it it looks majestic look at how big it is they hunt any bird or animal that comes in their way no holds barred it is their way of life that's a traditional way of hunting let's go have a look at how they actually hunt we shall also see what the dogs do and how do they employ the dogs let's go What's it? <laughs> if you look closer, you can see there are several of uh, baboon. If the spot is coming, they will escape. So we will hide under the bushes here. I have walked almost 12 kilometers non-stop together with them. Now they are sitting here because the baboon comes to head down from the top once they come down the hunter men can prey on them they are planning to attack from the above before that uh, let's wait for a while let the baboons come down they said uh, they are having some smoke it is marijuana <laughs> It's almost 9 a.m. now. Everyone is very hungry. Myself and my guide have uh, enough food for us. But these uh, Hadzabi tribesmen are starving. So they are discussing to catch something nearby. So they are uh, hatching a plan for a quick hunt. Um, in the in jungle like this, in between the chasms of rocks, a rabbit-like animal called uh, rock hyrax can be found. If anyone knows the name of this animal in your language, please comment in the box below without fail. Anybody knows the name, please comment. If hunting gets tough in the tough jungles like this, animals like rock hyrax, squirrels or birds are the easy game to hunt. These people know in and out about the forest and the rock formations because they hunt in this place or an area regularly. Now they have decided to hunt the rock hyrax for now. Let's follow them. Can you ask them what is the name of this? Huh? What is the name? Abba. 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 
So guys, as you can see, this is a rock hyrax, uh, rodent like uh, animal. It is said they live around the rock formations around here. It is being cooked now. They have given me a piece to taste. It is not well cooked, but they have given me to eat it. Ah, but I have to try. I cannot say no when they are offering me to eat. Let's. These dogs are sitting around me. I think the meat would uh, taste good. Not sure. Not sure what's going to happen. So this is the liver. They are given the liver piece to eat. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay, yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah, we'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. This is the liver. They have given the liver piece to eat. Mm. How is it taste? Hmm. Oh. Take it. Okay, okay. Enough, enough, enough. Hmm. It's good. Chaba, 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 how do you say? Chaba. Ingle. Chaba. Chaba. Mm. Chaba. That means? Chaba. Chaba. Mm. Chaba. Chaba. Ha. Cha. Chaba. 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 It's very tough to. It's very tough to pronounce. How to say this is superb? Okay. Good. Okay. Ingle like a jury. Siaya. Siaya. Hmm. Siaya. Siaya. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Near. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. It's nice. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. The meat is uh, thick. It's not uh, cooked well. Okay. They're sharing with uh, each other. Four of them. It's nice, but since the meat is very thick, it's uh, it's not cooked well. We are eating an animal that lives in the jungle. We don't get these back home, so I'm trying it here with them. It may look uh, very barbaric, barbaric to see people eating like this. We too have evolved from this phase, so we too had a similar eating habit. Look at this as a cultural aspect. Don't compare it with the uh, urban life because we are like this. This is the truth. Hence, it is a casual thing from their standpoint, and I request you all, humbly, this is their uh, culture. We should uh, respect them. I'm almost 12 kilometers deep inside the jungle. Extremely tired, and I've never walked this far in a jungle trekking up and down. They say they have uh, hit a wild boar, but uh, it has uh, escaped from them, so they are out now, trying to find the attack to wild boar. Once they are back, we can leave this uh, place immediately. So, guys, we left the place at 5:30 a.m. from that village. It is now 2 p.m. We only managed to hunt down a rabbit and a rodent-like animal. They tried to hunt a wild boar, but it has escaped, taking off the arrow behind. So they have uh, took the arrow back. They are picking the fruit from the babo tree and uh, eating them. They look extremely hungry, so they are eating. It's severely exhausting. I don't know what to do. It's almost, it's almost like uh, 20 kilometers. Guess how many kilometers we walked till now, bro? 20 something. 20. Yeah. Wow. Never have I ever walked for 20 kilometers in my life. 
but uh, it's a must for me to join this hunt with them the hunt hasn't ended yet hopefully it will end soon because the baboons will think like humans since they are quite like humans it's not easy for us to hunt them down it's very hard and so uh, that's why it's taking very long time actually we are backtracking now the hunters that uh, went up have gone back probably they are very hungry they didn't manage to gather anything i don't know what they are going to do will they go back or uh, do something else i'm not sure i have overworked my legs my heels are excruciatingly uh, hurting but uh, there isn't any other choice if they continue the hunt i will join them to watch Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. 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 Wow. <laughs> Seems like taking it away from the dog is the hardest part. <laughs> It's actually not giving up. <laughs> It's actually very hard. Actually, very hard, but it looks very easy. Huh? Uh, uh. Come closer. Hmm? <laughs> It's actually very hard. Looks very easy. This Tarzan-like lifestyle. It's pity, but this is their culture. We can't do. We can't. We can't do anything about it. Look here. He is hanging it on his uh, belt. Give me that. See. <clears throat> When they planned to attack the baboon from above, the dogs went too close to the baboons and barked, letting them escape so they could not hunt the baboons today. So it's not a successful day as of now. This tribesman traveled this far with me today only to return with the disappointments and four rock hyraks. They only ate one of it. They barely have any energy in their body, but still in order to bring home food, they are bringing back any rock hyraks they find along the way. This is only the day one of our hunt. There are two more days left. The final day is when some intense hunting happened. We hunted baboon. Those were fascinating, thrilling experience for me. In the next video we shall see how they prepare for hunts how they attack and what type of bows and arrows are they using in the next video We're going to see everything in detail For coming today it has ended with rock hyrax and I'm also very tired so I have left this place until I reached back I have walked a total of 35 kilometers and I'm completely completely drained I need at least a day's rest tomorrow After proper rest the next day we'll be ready for another hunt if you like this video please like and share i went through this arduous journey to this place just for you guys so please 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 share this video thank you so much bye from bhuvani peace guys